It is 401 here in Phoenix, so we are going to go ahead and get started. So hello to everyone and welcome to Teen Life's Live Summer Opportunities Fair. My name is Dustin. I'm a marketing associate here at Teen Life, and I will be your host tonight. This is our second of three sessions that we'll be having this evening. So whether you joined us for the first or um, this is your first one, we're very happy to have you. Um, if you're able to, we also encourage you to join us for session three at the top of the next hour. I will be sure to send a link in the chat at the end of this session for those who don't have it. So we're going to have seven speakers this session. Some will be live presentations and others will be video recordings. During the presentations, we encourage you all to use the Q&A feature in the chat to ask any question that questions that you may have, and our speakers will answer them as soon as they're able to. Um, if any of these programs interest you, you can request more information by clicking the link that I am putting into the chat now. All right. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get things started. And our first presentation is a video from Champlain Pre-College Summer Programs. So let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Zuccarino and I manage the pre-college summer programs at Champlain College. Today I'm going to give you an insight into what makes those pre-college programs a little bit different from what you may find on other college campuses. I turn my camera off and jump right in. Champlain College is located on the shores of Lake Champlain in beautiful Burlington, Vermont. We were founded in 1878 and pride ourselves on being focused on innovative education. So we provide cutting edge academic programs that prepare students for the real world through uh, small class sizes, uh, which foster collaboration and communication, all in a pretty stunning location. We are three and a half hours from Boston by car and about five hours from New York City as well. Burlington International Airport is five minutes down the road, so we are pretty accessible from just about anywhere. Champlain College is consistently ranked as a top school for game design, a top 30 best school for information technology, a most innovative school, um, and as well for offering top documentary programs. So while we are a small school, we have a big name. Students in our pre-college programs, which are offered in July and August this summer, have an opportunity to uh, really gain some hands-on experience in an area that they are interested in. They develop real tangible skills uh, in a variety of exciting fields, and I will show you those, uh, using professional grade systems and software. So really experiencing what it's like to live and learn on a college campus setting um, before they take their next steps. How is that different from what you may find elsewhere? Um, Champlain College Academies are taught by industry expert faculty, our very own industry expert faculty. That means they're bringing their years of professional experience into the classroom, making for an exciting, engaging academic environment. Students work in our state-of-the-art studios, uh, classes, and classrooms using professional-grade programs and software and systems with like-minded students. Um, in a project-based curriculum that really allows them to, uh, to dive in and get their hands dirty, um, solve problems, um, ask questions, and do the work um, of exploring these fields. Um, as well, students walk away with some pretty impressive materials for a portfolio or for application, um, and they make some friends along the way. For 2023, our program offering uh, uh, it includes a pretty impressive range of programming. Our programs are two-week residential programs. Again, they are offered in July and August. Uh, we have animation, audio engineering, sound design and music, game development, cybersecurity and digital forensics, digital media production, social change leadership, and entrepreneurship. You can find information at summer.champlain.edu about each of those programs, and I will provide that URL again. 
Our beautiful campus is located in the historic hill section of Burlington, Vermont. Along the shores of Lake Champlain, we are a safe, small, walkable campus just three blocks from the Church Street Marketplace uh, with local shops and cafes, um, outdoor dining, art, live music. Um, and just a few minutes beyond that is the Burlington waterfront where you can catch some of the best sunsets in the country while playing frisbee, uh, getting an ice cream, walking on the bike path. Um, really great opportunity for students to get some downtime together. Our facilities are state of the art. Our uh, residence halls are beautiful. Um, students in the academies will live in one of our uh, contemporary style residence halls, which are fully air conditioned, high, free, high, high speed Wi Fi, um, beautiful common areas and outdoor recreational areas um, for students to hang out at the end of the day. We offer programming um, that gets students to not only um, uh, have some downtime outside of the academics, but make those connections as well. Um, the dining hall is amazing. So not only does our dining hall provide an all you care to eat buffet style dining, um, we can accommodate various dietary needs, including vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, um, among others, um, all with panoramic stunning views of Lake Champlain and the Adirondacks. Um, little added bonus is that we also have creamies, which are Vermont's version of soft serum ice cream and very, very popular. Program fees for 2023 are $4,500. They are all inclusive. They include instruction and programming and materials, um, all housing and uh, linens, all meals, academic and recreational outings and transportation to and from those as well as a program t-shirt. Deadline for registration this year is June 15th. You would pay a $500 deposit at the time of registration. You can register at summer.champlain.edu. If you're looking to register after May 15th, you would need to be paying the final, uh, excuse me, the full payment at that time. Programs do tend to fill up, so we do our best to keep the website updated as to when you can get on a waiting list. And we do offer limited financial assistance for families who have registered. Um, it's a pretty easy process to apply for that, and it can just provide a little bit of a buffer for travel expenses um, or just maybe that little extra edge that may make this um, feasible um, for some families where it may not otherwise be. Uh, again, that information is also available on the website, and I've provided the URL there. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me at precollege.champlain.edu. Check out our website at summer.champlain.edu. Um, I'm here to answer questions regarding programming, regarding student life, um, accommodations. Uh, we hope to hear from you soon. And more importantly, we hope to see you and your student here on campus this summer. Um, Champlain really is an amazing place for students to make the most out of their summer uh, and uh, get some some good academic rigorous hands-on time um, in an area that they don't get to approach during the school year um, as well in a pretty beautiful setting. So we hope to see you soon. Thank you. All right, thank you so much to Champlain for that wonderful presentation. Coming up next, we have Nicole with Pace University. All right, thanks so much. I'm gonna share my screen. Hope everybody can see that. Yes, we can. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Nicole Vitali. I'm the director of the pre-college program here at Pace University. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about our pre-college program and what we have um, coming up for this summer and uh, some reasons why you should join the program. All right, but first a little bit about Pace. We are a private institution in New York. We have two campuses, one in downtown New York City and another in Westchester County. Um, we have about 13,000, a little over 13,000 undergraduate and graduate students across both campuses. And we offer about 135 undergraduate degrees. <clears throat> A little bit about the pre-college program. We've been running our pre-college program at Pace University for about 20 years. Um, it's a two-week summer program in July held at our downtown New York City campus, and it's for rising juniors and seniors who are at least 16 years or, uh, 16 years or older. 
So what, what do we have coming up for this upcoming summer? We're offering five different courses, digital film production, which is essentially uh, exactly what the title is called. It's all about uh, the end-to-end -end process of developing a film. So that's everything from writing a script, cinematography, editing, um, and uh, uh, producing it, and then showing it at the very end. Our global business and economy uh, course um, takes a global look at business. So all of the factors that might uh, impact uh, business globally. So anything from political, cultural, um, economic, and geographic uh, differences. And it also takes a look at why um, and how international products are now so pervasive. Um, our health science track is an introduction to nutrition. So that dives into the nuts and bolts of nutrition um, and also goes beyond um, that and looks into the meaning and social is issues around food. Psychology track dives into human motivation, learning, uh, behavior, and development. And our theater arts track is uh, an acting is uh, is an acting course, and it's taught by um, our um, Pace faculty and our and also professionals in the field that we bring in. Uh, our campus uh, or the program is held at our downtown New York City campus, um, and this is right in the. Um, uh, embedded right in downtown Manhattan. So we are within um, walking distance of the Brooklyn Bridge. We actually have views of the Brooklyn Bridge from our main Pace building, um, the South Street Seaport, uh, Wall Street, World Trade Center, and uh, Little Italy, Chinatown, and just a subway ride from uh, Midtown and Central Park. Um, so as part of the program, we will be um, doing different walking tours and tours throughout New York City. Um, so it's a great opportunity for individuals who are um, interested in being in New York City. Um, it's it's that immersive experience um, that you would have being right in our uh, downtown campus. And my slide jumped ahead. So, um, you know, we'll be offering all of that outside of classroom time. Um, some other activities we'll be doing, we'll be doing a college readiness. So sorry, it's jumping ahead college readiness. Um, so we'll bring in some different departments to talk about um, admissions for those of you um, who are going into that process. Um, you have an opportunity to speak with admissions folks and other folks around the university about that process. Um, and we'll also be offering uh, different social activities, ice cream socials, uh, movie nights for you to engage with your peers outside of classroom time, and also get a sense of um, our PACE community. All right, so top four reasons why um, you should join the um, free college program at Pace University. So sorry, this is being so funky on me. Um, all right, so first, it's a great way to gain a firsthand look um, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, um, there we go. Let's just do this. I hope everybody can see that. I do apologize. I don't know why it was jumping ahead on me. Um, so it, it's a great way to gain, gain a firsthand look at the college experience. So you are learning from our PACE faculty. You're living on our, um, in a college campus. Um, and experiencing um, the campus and the surrounding area. Um, so it's a great way to uh, get that college experience before committing to a college. You're also learning from our renowned faculty. So all of these classes are um, uh, college level classes that are adapted from classes that our PACE students uh, take and they're taught by our PACE faculty. As I already mentioned, we're gonna be bringing admissions in. So this is your opportunity to meet with our admissions folks and find out about the admission process just in general and um, uh, more about the PACE admission process. And last but not least, but uh, you get to live in New York City and immerse yourself in that um, uh, downtown Manhattan and beyond uh, uh, at our campus. Um, so we are, we are, the program is held from July 9th to the 22nd. Um, so it's a two week program um, in July. Um, so the cost of the program is 3400 So that's a flat cost. It includes the housing, meals, and program activities throughout the two weeks. So what is next? Um, definitely reach out if you are um, 
If you want to learn more, and you can do so by heading over to our website at www.pacewdu forward slash pre-college program, or you can email us at pre-college program at pacewdu. Our application is now open. Um, you can head over there at www.pacewdu forward slash pre-college apply. We are uh, accepting applications. Applications um, is rolling. So once we get all materials, we'll uh, send you admission decision. But the deadline to submit all applications is May 1st. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much, Nicole and Pace University. So coming up next, we have a video recording from Arcos Journeys Abroad. Uh, there is a representative in the panel today from Arcos Journeys. So if you have any questions about Arcos Journeys, you can go ahead and send your questions in the chat or use the Q&A feature and he'll get back to you as soon as possible. So let's get into the video. Hi, my name is Brent Hunter from the program Arcos Journeys Abroad, and I'm the director here at Arcos. I'm going to walk you through today the programs that we have available for this summer. I'm going to share uh, the website. So what you'll see, like you see here is that we focus on Spanish-speaking places. You may have seen that in the name Arcos, which means arches in Spanish. And so like an arch, we're that, that connecting piece from, from here to there and supports you on the journey along the way. So we have three types of programs in the summer. We have active discovery, which are more movement-based programs. We have the Spanish immersion programs, which focus on Spanish language classes in the morning. And then there's cultural discovery programs. These are going to focus around some cultural, heavy cultural components, such as culinary arts or art in Spain. So to get there, there's a few ways to do that. You can get there through this journey section here. And it's going to have a little description about each of the program types that we have available. And if you click through, for example, to active discovery, you'll see the portfolio for the active discovery that we have in the summer. So it's going to have all the programs that are tagged active discovery. And so to be in these sections, it means that 50% or more of the program is dedicated to that theme or topic. And so getting through it, it'll have the description, the country, um, and this will link you to a bigger description about that, that program. So it'll have the dates and prices for this summer and a little bit of program information. When you're ready, you would apply through this link here. Or you can contact us, request more details, schedule a call with one of us, and we'll walk you through the program. A uh, really nice aspect about the Arcos programs is they're designed where you can build your summer. You can stay for more than one session. For example, this program combines well with Spanish Immersion, and so you can click there and you can read about the Spanish Immersion program, um, the, the electives that we have available, the Spanish classes, all through here. What I think is the most useful on our website is the dates and prices section. And so we'll go here, it's gonna have a chart of all the programs that we have available in our portfolio and they're organized by country. So we have programs in Peru, Mexico, Spain, Costa Rica, and Argentina. They're organized in earliest uh, start date to the latest end date. And so here you can kind of run through and see all the programs. If you click on these links, it'll take you to the description. And then we have our timelines. So timelines are really useful, especially if you're thinking about staying multiple sessions or just need to see where things line up with your summer plans. So it'll have the programs by country, um, get in alphabetical order, Argentina, Costa Rica, Mexico, Peru, and Spain. And for Spain, for example, you can see that here you could do the active adventure program for two weeks, and then you could stay for two more weeks and do the Spanish language and culture program. And the program type timelines, this is organized by, it's got a group by program type. So all the active discovery are here um, from start to finish in the summer season, the cultural discovery and Spanish immersion. And then the kind of really important next step is if you want to apply for the program, you go to our how to apply page, fill out our online application, and then pay the program deposit. So that is a $200 non-refundable deposit, and that goes 100% towards the program cost. And so I just hold your place in the program. Once you pay that, one of us gives you a call, verify the information, make sure it's the right program for you, and then we see the acceptance materials. These are all the items that will complete before the summer begins. Now, there are a few other areas that might be of interest as you're looking at the program, seeing if Arcos is a good fit for you. Uh, the what's included, this is very uh, information filled section where it's got all the information for what's included, and then later down, what maybe is uh, not included. The main thing not including our program is, is the airfare. So you are responsible for the inter international airfare. 
And we have information about our medical insurance policy, which is included. The plan benefits are found here, as well as information about purchasing your flight. Um, which we're part of Student Universe, and you can purchase your flight through them. They have a lot of discounts for uh, for youth travel. But yeah, that's the main the main information I think for for thinking about Arcos program. Again, it's Arcos Journeys Abroad. Our website's arcosjourneys.com, and look forward to having you abroad with us this summer. Thanks so much. All right, thank you very much to Brent and to Arcos Journeys Abroad. Coming up next, we have a video presentation from Unbound. And same situation here, we do have a representative on the panel today. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to use the chat or the Q&A feature. So let's get started with the next video. My name is Jonathan Brush. I'm the president and CEO of Unbound, and I want to tell you some stories. Let me start with this one. A couple of years ago, two young men wanted to go on a big adventure. They wanted to go backpacking through some of the national parks, particularly the ones out west. So they left Virginia, they traveled up to Michigan, across the Dakotas, into Washington State, down through California, and back through Colorado. And they did have a bit of an adventure of a lifetime, backpacking in lots of different places on backcountry permits. They also never had to stay in a hotel room as they stayed with unbound friends and unbound families the whole way around the country. But like most great stories, the interesting part of this one is when things went wrong. And things went wrong as they came out of Yellowstone and their vehicle broke down. So they called me and I said, you know, I think we have an alum who lives in Montana, which is where they were currently broke down. And so I called this alum and I connected them to these two students. Now they had never met each other. They had been in the program at different times. And so the alum said, hey, where are you? And they said, we're about three and a half hours from where you live. And he says, well, in Montana terms, that's like practically being next door. He said, here's what we're gonna do. My brother owns a tow truck company and I'll send him out to pick you up. We'll tow the car back here and you can stay with us for as long as it takes to get it fixed. But before we do that, my cousin works on your kind of vehicle. He's currently at his kid's birthday party, but let me call him and see if he can talk to you. Maybe we can fix this thing over the phone. So he called his cousin, the cousin called the two guys. They were able to get it fixed over the phone and they were able to complete their entire trip. And that's a pretty good idea of the kind of network and national advantage you get when you become part of Unbound. But let me tell you some other stories. Just recently, somebody called me. He's the head of an organization and he said, hey, we're growing rapidly and I need some help. I said, what kind of help do you need? He said, I need somebody who can do finances and accounting and pay our bills and do all that kind of financial work. And I need somebody who can sort of serve as the director of operations who handles a lot of our logistics and keeps things organized, do those kinds of things. I said, okay, well, I have two people in mind. Do you want me to set up an interview? He said, well, I only need to interview them if you think they need convinced to come work for me. I said, well, don't you want to find out if they're a good fit for you? He said, no, I don't need to do that. He said, they're unbound students. So I know they will be a great culture fit. I know they'll work harder than anybody else that I employ. And I know that they'll have all the skills that they need to be absolutely spectacular at what they do. That's the way unbound students always work for us. And let me tell you a third story. A year or so ago, I had two alumni who graduated from our program and they were serving in Ethiopia as mission and doing some missionary service work. And in this case, they were running an orphanage. And this orphanage had a lot of small children, infants, and they had to use cloth diapers. And these cloth diapers are being hung outside to dry. And during the raining season, uh, a, a particular bug would come and land on these diapers and lay an egg. And then those diapers would be put on the infants and then the parasite would get inside of these infants. And so they said, hey, this is really not acceptable. We know how the parasite is getting into these babies. Uh, can we do something different? And they said, no, that's not really possible. We'd need a dryer. And because of the place where we are and the remoteness of this location, we'd have to have all this special equipment and all these kinds of things to run the dryer. And they said, well, you know, it's not acceptable for us to know what the problem is and not be able to at least take a shot at this solution. So that night they posted to Instagram to the unbound uh, community and they said, hey, here's the situation. Here's what's going on. And within 48 hours, they'd raise more money than they needed, multiple thousands of dollars, to be able to purchase the dryer, all the equipment that was necessary, install that, and make sure that the infants in that orphanage no longer had to deal with this parasite during the rainy season. Those stories do a better job of explaining to you what Unbound is than almost anything else that I can tell you. I can tell you that technically, Unbound is a project-based higher education program. And that means that we can help you get a fully accredited degree, but we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to do it in a way that 
emphasizes learning real skills and doing real things, not case studies and not hypothetical stuff, but actually uh, getting in and doing the work and learning in that fashion. And we'll help you do that and we'll allow you to remain embedded in your local community, which is a fancy way of saying that we'll deliver most of our academics through some online methods. But we're also going to require you to get on a plane and to travel multiple times a year where you're going to connect with all the other students of the Unbound program at live events around the country because we think that real education doesn't really happen until you're face to face with somebody. And in the process, what's going to happen is, yes, you can earn a degree degree if you want to do that. You'll earn powerful certifications. Uh, you will do it for less money than you can do it probably anywhere else. And you will do it with a guarantee that says that when you graduate, you'll be able to be employed and get a job at the level of your degree or we'll refund all of your tuition. So we'll offer this to you in a fairly risk-free way since you're doing something different. But that's not actually the most important thing that you'll get out of the program. What you're going to get out of the program is you're going to get a network of people all across the country, a national network of folks who think differently because we are different. This is a different way to do education. This is a different way to think about education. If you want results that are different from what you see anywhere else, you have to do things in a different manner. And Unbound's gonna call you into a different way of being prepared, a different way of training and getting ready for life a different way to prepare that we think will ultimately help you to become much more successful. Now, if you're listening to this, I just know from experience that the majority of folks will say, yeah, that's probably not for me. But something like one or two out of 10 people hear this will say, now that I've heard that, I can't do anything else. You're the people that we're looking for. You're the people that we want to join Unbound. And so go to beunbound.us to learn more, to get in touch with us so that we can have a conversation and we'll look forward to meeting you soon. All right, great. Thank you so much to the Unbound team for that wonderful presentation. Coming up next, we have Peace Ambassador Leadership Programs for Teens. Go ahead and take it away. Okay. Give me one moment. Of course, now it's when the screen wants to act up. Okay, so I am here to speak about the Peace Ambassador Leadership Summit. And this is a program that is partially youth led. It is Sorry, I'm turning my camera on so you all can see us. Oh, by the way, we can't uh, see your screen if, if you were sharing something. Oh, okay. I am, in fact, sharing. Okay. I'm in Florida, and that's where the weather, of course, is horrible today. That's what <laughs> I've heard. Things are coming in and out, so just <laughs> give me a moment. <clears throat> no worries whatsoever. Okay, what about now? All right, um, it's just loading here for me. Let's give it one second. Um, the, it should oh, say- the There we go, all good. Summit. Okay, great. So the Peace Ambassador Leadership Summit is a program that is uh, co-facilitated by young leaders, youth who are I'm excited to take on the challenges of today's world. It is a week long program again for 14 and 19 year olds there. The highlight of it is that there are 50 community service hours. Many students say that they come for the service hours but they leave with friends, they leave with skills, social skills, life skills, very hands-on learning. Obviously there's lots of college prep involved but we also place a focus on um, their uh, students learning about their emotional and social well-being as well. The benefits are obviously about the leadership skills, one of the benefits, I will say. And it's a very much out of your seat, walking around, uh, working with other youth. You're not just sitting there in a lecture in a college room. You are actually creating the programs that you want to 
take out into the community. If that's something that you want to do, you develop your communication skills that uh, you learn the power of networking with not only the students that you are that are a part of your cohort, but with other college students who are there as mentors. Communication is a very important aspect of PALS. One of the other fan favorites I would say from the students is the learning about emotional intelligence and why emotional intelligence is such an important aspect of not only leadership, but your personal development, of course. So this is an opportunity. I'll have this video just play in the background. So this is a video that uh, students who were a part of our program created. It was a part of, we didn't even know that they were taking as much footage as they did. They were just so excited about the program. And so it's from their perspective of <clears throat> just the environment. We're a very welcoming group. It's a very diverse program. And again, PALS is more than just a leadership summit. It's where young people in, in high school interact with college students and get to talk to them about their process of applying to schools. What was that process like? Um, the team building activities that you see them involved here, they're again, led by the youth leaders that have been fully trained in our, in our nine month leadership program that goes year round with the, with the school year. Again, our program is designed to empower, inspire and challenge students to think outside of the box, take risks, and truly make a difference in the world. So through experiential learning, community service projects, expert guidance from our mentors, students will develop essential skills with a mindset to lead with compassion, empathy, and purpose. So whether you're interested in social justice, um, environmental issues, sustainability, global citizen, global citizenships, PALS offers a space for you to explore your passions, connect with like-minded peers, and create a positive impact that resonates far beyond your local community. And we believe that young people have the power to change the world, and PALS is where that journey begins. So we invite you to join us on this transformational experience and also have fun. We also throw an entire prom at this event because many of the students that we work with, I don't want to say many, but some of them may not want to go to the proms from their schools. So we create an atmosphere where they can have a prom at our event. We are committed to, again, creating safe and inclusive spaces for everyone. Um, and this is at our, well, not this picture, but this is at our Georgetown event where, again, we walk the halls of Congress and on Capitol Hill Day and we get to talk to different representatives about what life is like on the Hill, I would say interns and some of their chief of staffs and how they can begin to make an impact. So where our house is at three different locations, that's Florida International University in Miami, University of Central Florida in Orlando in June and Georgetown University in, uh, July, the July 30th through August 5th. Again, this college and career day, there are those students up front who are giving them their honest feedback of this is how you apply. This is how you can get into college without paying anything. These are the times, these are the scholarships you should be looking for. So those students really, really pay it forward to the other students in um, uh, that are new to the program. At FIU, the dorms, you get real life, college life experience. You're staying in dorms. At UCF, it's the same thing, except you're staying in the Lake Claire community, which are little apartments. So there it comes with a kitchen, a living room, and your bedroom. There, uh, the chaperone situation is eight to, um, eight to one. At Georgetown University, these are the accommodations. And again, Although there is a heavy focus on leadership and personal development, there also is a focus on life and social skills. So there are activities every single night and only the Georgetown location goes off site. 
right now we have a early bird special at UCF and Georgetown. It is $9.50. The price goes up to $12.50 on, on May 1st. And Georgetown University is um, $1,700 and it goes up to $2,000. And again, if you want any information about the program, this is our, you can call me directly. And if you say that you attended this, uh, this program through Teen Life, we will give you an additional $100 off. And when you contact us, we'll give you that code. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for that awesome presentation. Uh, coming up next, we have another presentation from Global Routes. Hey, everyone. My name is Adam Becker. I'm the Enrollment and Outreach Specialist for Global Routes, Global Roots, sort of a play on word that we do. Uh, I'm going to talk for just a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to show you a video. Meantime, let me share my screen here. We'll see if I also have technical difficulties. Are we all here? Are we all at my screen? Can everyone hear me okay? Yes, we can. All good. Great. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah, so exciting. Um, Global Roots, we're a bit different than uh, a lot of different organizations out there. We are a uh, experiential education, service learning, travel organization. Our programs are group programs, 18 students uh, is our max group size with tri three trip leaders. Um, we have many international destinations as well as domestic destinations as well. At the moment for this summer, we are currently still offering our Nepal, Costa Rica and Hawaii programs. Our programs are four weeks. The Nepal program is five weeks. Our programs are cell phone free entirely. We ask students to put down the screens, leave them at home for all the reasons that we all already know. Uh, our programs are extremely immersive. We are traveling into the communities that we are going to work with. Something that's different with our programs than a lot of other programs is we have a small orientation in country for a few days, get to know the group, cultural do's and don'ts. We then move into the community stay of our program on a lot of program that looks like homestays, Costa Rica and Nepal. And we're there for two or three weeks, really deep inside of this community, working on a service project, side by side with locals. The service projects come completely from the community. We don't tell them what they need. They tell us what, up we, what they need every time. Uh, oftentimes we don't even know what the project's going to be until we get there and we kind of assess what the, you know, what the village wants from us. Um, our programs are pretty rustic. We want to be taking local buses. We want to be eating the local food. We want to be uh, living like a local. Um, we, it's a really great chance for students to see other cultures and other opportunities uh, outside of the classroom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Scroll down here and share this little video. It might give you a little bit, a little bit more context for what I'm talking about. Last thing I'll say is that on every Global Roots program, uh, college credit is available through Portland State University. We have a couple of different class offerings. There's the difficulties. Oh well. Hey, Adam, uh, we're actually not able to hear um, the video. Uh, oh, yeah, you're not able to get the audio at yeah, all? You, you might need to reshare and then click the checkbox that says uh, shared system sound as well. All right, let's see. Well, I was doing well there for a little while. <laughs> no worries. Let me click the checkbox that says share sound. Wow, you nailed it, Dustin. <laughs> Perfect. Thank 
for me, it's about creating kind of global citizens and creating students who are invested in making an impact. We're teaching students about positive cross-cultural interaction. A program like this really helps you grow as a person and become who you want to be. It changes the way you look at the world. It changes the way you interact with people. Um, it increases your gratitude for the things that you do have. It increases your motivation to... It is an educational experience. It's the happiest I've been. I, I just don't know how anyone could refuse. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. The only regret I have about my Global Roots experience is that I didn't do it sooner. It is an amazing experience. It really makes you as an individual grow. I think being able to be in a place where you belong and where you feel that sense of belonging helps you learn and grow. And so in my experience, the students on Global Roots are choosing the Global Roots trip because they want to challenge themselves more. They're looking more for the personal growth. You only have one chance to do it, and it's amazing. Just do it. Just jump in. Oftentimes they, they do find that it can be inspirational for them and finding their way as well. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like a more like complete person. It would be something that I would take with me for the rest of my life. There's no way to walk away without some kind of incredible change. Great, thanks everyone. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Really appreciate that. So our last presentation for this session will be from Goji Abroad, and they have a couple of recorded videos that I will go ahead and play here. Um, let's see. All right. Karibuni. Welcome to Tanzania. My name is Liz Jackson. I'm the founder and the director of Goshi Abroad. We welcome you to Tanzania. Um, our trip consists of working with indigenous Maasai um, and really um, diving into the culture. We've been working with this community for eight years now. We'll be building a boma, a hut for one of the women that we work with. Um, and we really become integrated into the culture. Um, and after that, we will travel to visit Mama C, who's an activist and a musician, and then we go on safari. And after safari, we come and sail and learn about um, the conservation. And it's an unforgettable experience of really being immersed into a new culture and becoming messengers of the world, not just tourists. So I hope that you'll join me and reach out to me with any questions. Asante, thank you. Hello, Gogi abroad. I'm at uh, Mama Kaolina home. This is where she's living currently, which is a very small house, and you can see it's uh, it's almost turning out. And Gogi abroad is here. They are coming, and they are coming to help her. Mama Kaolina is right here with her two twins, 
and they are coming to build a house for her which is a big blessing because the house she's currently living it's almost falling down so i want to welcome all of you liz will be leading you people welcome to tanzania welcome to longido it will be so nice and it will be a blessing for her to have a better house for especially for her kids All right, we do have one more video here from Goji Abroad, so please bear with me as I get this loaded. All right. Welcome to our village in Longido. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On this trip, students will see firsthand how the Maasai are adapting to climate change and diversifying their livelihoods. We will learn about the water issues in this area and how the Maasai manage their resources during a drought. While living in the village, we will become aware of the challenges facing many Maasai as they attempt to continue a pastoral way of life in an increasingly harsh